and we've uh, hit a problem. Um, we hit sand about six metres down and uh, we've, we've hit the sand. So what we've got a got some uh, drilling mud or something there. To, uh, I think it makes a sort of a casing in the borehole. I'm not sure. <laughs> not nice stuff, eh? Hey? <laughs> 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 Yeah, that's the second problem now with the drill. Well, at least, at least they got six meters down, so uh, I guess that clears any uh, tree stumps or surface rocks. You said they got to run the big, the big bit, and uh, to allow for the casing. So it's got like um, tungsten tips all over it. I should do some uh, cut through rock, I guess. That bastard there. Well, here we go. The operations uh, operation starting again. Gonna dig that slops out of that trench. And which way is he going to go? This way. So, uh, Mr. Nyok has suggested we buy one of these ourselves, a small um, es excavator machine. He said they're quite cheap, second hand. Mr. Nyok um, was like the district headman was over here yesterday. He said, you know, if we had one of these small excavators, if we owned it, um, you can get them off a shipping container from Japan. They bring out hundreds of them from Japan. And he said they're quite cheap, the second-hand ones. He said, you know, it'd be quite handy to have one here. And I, th I think he's right, but, you know, shit. When those things break down, they cost a fortune to fix. Always blowing hydraulic pipes and pumps and motors and God knows what, gears and tracks are falling off them all the time. And pain in the butt really. How often would you use it? I don't know. Would be handy I guess. These the drill pipes are uh, all lined up ready to ready to sink down the drill hole. He's greased them up nicely. Very good. And we're going to start the uh, drilling operation very soon again. How far down did we go? Hock, hock met? Hock. Sipha met. Sipha met. Oh, 15 met down there. And what the sand? Sandy. Too sandy, is it? This stuff. Is this sand right? Yeah, not good. Not, not good, yeah. Okay, here comes a new drill head. That's the shit that's coming out, see, it's, um, he's drilling but it's just caving in around the drill bit all the time, so, so I think they've got this casing mud that they're going to pump down there as well, let's see what happens. I guess really you never know what's down there until you until you drill. Well, I've got investments in a lithium mine in Canada, in Ontario, and um, they drill down about 150 meters, and they're hitting lithium. And that's great, but somehow you got to mine it out of there. So that. Um, 
lithium shares are pretty stagnant up there. Lost a fair bit of money on the lithium mine, unfortunately. Just like all the other investments, the copper mine in the Congo, yeah. the uranium enrichment, the laser enrichment plant. <laughs> you know my um, well in the front? I had to put a new pump today. I just put a new centripetal pump. Mm. I put a new one today already. Mm. That old one's no good. See the uh, old one over here. Yeah, the well pump out the front. Packed it in yesterday. I'll just put a new... Um, that's the old one, my D. Yeah. They got one inch pipe, one one inch, and this one and a half. So it's not not good, right? Mm. I got this one, Lucky Lucky Pro. Lucky Pro. Mm. That's a good one. I hope so. Lucky Pro. Lucky Pro. Uh, one one inch in, one inch out. Um. One inch, one inch. Mm. She should be good. Yeah, I put already. Work, working already. We're gonna go and check the well. We're going to uh, check my work effort for this morning. Like they say, if you you know if you want it done properly, do it yourself. Nothing's ever said true in Thailand. Like there's some things you just can't do yourself, like drill a 150 metre hole in the backyard. But anything you can do, you're better off doing it yourself. Okay, so here's the new, the new Lucky Pro. I think it's uh Nung Song Sam C C Pan Bat. Yeah, four thousand. Yeah. 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 Just um, weld some bits of Rio on the outside of it. Good Make the diameter bigger. <laughs> more diameter, more bigger. <laughs> you got to drill big. Same that. Ah. Uh, yeah, they got to drill the hole. This size. Just tack weld some uh, bits of Rio on the outside of the drill bit. And get the diameter up to this uh, bad boy. It's at a 10 inch. Uh, 10 inch pipe. Yeah. So I think this is going to be a casing to get through the through the sand and stop the sand collapsing into the into the borehole. Man, it's a lot of fucking around. I'll tell you this um, drilling business. keep striking problems you know it's just everything slows the whole process down guess it just needs to be another uh, one inch diameter 
ันเดียวกับพี่กับวันซุกวันเดียววันเสาร์เจ้าเขาก็ออกมาเลยกับวันซุกเดี๋ยวมันพักแมลงปิ๊กบ้างไม่เป็นไรงั้นเดี๋ยวเซ็ตวันซุกเซ็ตเลยรอวันเสาร์เจ้าเขาก็ออกมาเลยว้าวEverything's made out of Rio. The hammer handle. Good old Rio bar. Yeah, let's get on with the project. Let's see how long these bits of um, Rio bar stay attached to that drill bit. Yeah, I guess they probably will. I'm surprised the drill rigs uh, will break down next. It'll be the next um, slowdown in the in the project. So the boys have um, they've come equipped uh, with plenty of backup hydraulic fluid. What have they got there? Probably 80 litres, I'd say, of um, hydraulic fluid there. So they're ready, ready for a few leaks. Yeah, quantity's just holding up. So yeah, she's got a few leaks. Always pays to have a extra supply of oil. on the cap off and we're just waiting for the big drill bit now. And this will probably need the tractor dude back out here to level everything out again once everything's done. These are the boundary markers you have in Thailand on your property. You usually have a round, um, a round peg. So that'd be the marker for this corner of the property. Yeah, that's the, uh, the legal marker there. The beauty is you can just basically uh, put it wherever you want. Yeah. the thought that matters. It's lucky uh, we've got power power coming down here to the backyard for the dam so he can um, plug his power in here into our uh, power outlet and this will probably be handy source of power when we need the submersible pump down the borehole yeah, I think we'll just tap into the power right here to run our bore pump whenever we get down there to the water Looks like a bit of a storm, storm brewing around here. A bit of uh, rain coming, I'd say. The afternoon storm. Expect some lightning soon. We've got some uh, storm activity, so I'm not expecting we'll be doing too much more drilling today. Once he finishes welding these um, bits of Rio bar onto the onto the drill bit, we'll, um, we'll probably be calling it a day. 
We're up to day two now. We've had um, two or three stoppages for problems. We ran out of water and then we had the problem with the sand caving in down in the borehole. So we just got to wonder what's next. Whatever problems we run into, these um, these guys are the professionals, and, and they're um, coming up with solutions, quick, smart. They come from Chiang Mai, so they've got to go and stay in a hotel each night. So I'm sure they don't want to hang around Hang Chat too long. Um, you know, if we didn't run into problems, we'd probably be all finished by now. I reckon we would be all finished. USA! 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 <laughs> <laughs> we like Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. Aussie, Aussie. Oi, oi, oi. USA, very good tools. So I think he's bringing it back up now, taking sections out. There it is, I got the bad boy out. Put the lid on the hole, cap the well, and he's going to take that bit off. That's a fucking big spanner. And we'll just put a 10 foot extension bar on it. No problems. And off she comes. Easy as that. Pretty serious uh, shift in spanners they got. I would be used to call them a Stilson, I think. Not really a shift in spanner, it's a Stilson. That's it. That's enough of that bad boy. So the uh, little welded on bits of Rio bar are still on there. This guy really knows his stuff. And it's unhooked it from the top and you'll put it back in the rack. Yeah, these guys are good. Yeah, there's a bit of a problem though running the running the 10 inch casing down there and um, it shattered halfway down. So it's a good thing I think they've managed to manage to um, pull it back out. Now we've um, put a stop to operations and I've I've given given them a bottle of uh, Hong Tong. They're having a having a break now with the Hong Tong, and I guess we'll uh, resume operations tomorrow. It started to rain. The casing, the casing shattered. 
and uh, and uh, give them some time off with the Hong Tong and some water and ice. Do the right thing. We'll be back at it tomorrow.